Thomas is autistic and he loves gaming. <gasps> That's so cool. His mum Sarah is autistic too and there are some aspects of gaming that don't make sense to her. The hardest bit for me is if something isn't obvious or it's sort of a little bit more challenging, it gets really frustrating. Experts say many autistic people often encounter these kinds of difficulties in gaming. Both education systems and entertainment devices are created by neurotypical people for neurotypical people. And what that means is it doesn't necessarily reflect on the differences in the ways that people first of all process information, but also the things that might be overwhelming from either a sensory perspective or from um, a cognitive processing perspective. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Today, Thomas and Sarah are trying a new game. Catch it! Star! Blink and the Vacuum of Space has been developed by Changing Day, a startup based in Glasgow. It's one of very few companies making games designed specifically for autistic people. I have a 26-year-old daughter who's autistic and we have spent many years trying to find things that will help her in her everyday life. When I tried a VR headset on for the first time about six years ago, I thought, wonder if autistic people could benefit from VR. The main object of the game is to make the world's greatest sandwich, as you do. But after the sandwich creating experiment goes wrong, you have to spend the game chasing around after these little guys. So what kind of things do you have to bear in mind when you're designing something like this? So if there was a particular mechanic that we thought might be um, problematic, um, might be a barrier to play for some autistic people, or in general, uh, we just wouldn't include it, avoiding a stressful game mechanic. So things like time limits are just not in the game, but also allowing kind of really in-depth customization. If there's a particular sound in the game which someone finds quite triggering, they can just go in and turn that sound off. So I'm able to give it a go? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but it does a great job of leaning into what VR is all about and putting you into a totally different environment. Oh, cool. This is one of the kind of design features in our game from a, an accessibility perspective. Okay. Blink gets like a board up and it's like telling, you know, we're going to undercover and here's the kind of characters we're going to meet and so on. To give the player an expectation of where is they're going and hopefully reduce some of the anxiety they might have. Norpopolis Spaceport. One of Changing Day's hopes is that the game could help better prepare autistic people for real life situations. We have an area in the space station, like an airport basically, a kind of setting which some autistic people might find quite challenging in, in real life. Uh, large crowds, um, the, all the noise around you. Looking there, we can present that within a game context in a way which uh, is more fun. My experiences of this are obviously going to be very different than that of an autistic person, but my initial reactions are that it's undeniably fun and it's really clear to see the potential benefits that something like this could have. Oh yes! I threw it and it worked! But how is it even possible to create a game for every autistic person? Really, we're looking at targeting in the middle of the autistic spectrum. Uh, people at the very high end will be gamers themselves, perhaps already anyway, uh, and maybe won't benefit from, from some of the things that are included in our game. Whether it's possible to create one game that fits all autistic people, of course that isn't, that isn't possible. At best, what we could hope to do is to create something that is as broadly inclusive as possible. There is an opportunity to be able to reach people who may not otherwise we interacted with the same kinds of games. Enjoyed it. That was yeah. amazing. I liked the maneuverability. Like how your guy will do what you would usually do. Cross the street. Yeah. Changing Day isn't the only startup innovating in this area. US based company Florio makes therapeutic and educational VR experiences that aim to help autistic children cope better in the real world. But they aren't games. Hello. Autistic people don't need to be changed. What they do need is a game that's designed specifically for them to help them get from start to finish because sometimes in gameplay there are situations that they, they don't react well to or don't understand and we're trying to cl clear those barriers for them. Blink and the Vacuum of Space will be released in January. Yay!